Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Uh, I'm going to be going over my workout split, my workout routine, whatever you like to call it. It's all the same reference. It it's correlates. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to get right into it. So what I do with my workout split is more, I do a five day split and then I rotate back to day one and so on and so on. Taking no days off because that's just how I like it. It really feels good to me and if I don't work out I just get bored and it's just convenient to me. So now I'm going to be going over like the structure, how I plan out what I do. So I don't like do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, things like that. I go day one and then repeat. Like I said, it's rotational. So the first day I'll be doing chest and shoulders. And the reason I like doing chest and shoulders together is because it, it just it's convenient. You don't have to work that much on your front delt because when you're pushing with any kind of press or you're doing a fly or anything, you're going to be working your front delt. So it's just more convenient than anything. And uh, it's just, you can really work on that like front chest and the front, the front delt and the chest tie-in. And it just makes everything pop and look good, in my opinion. That's just, it's convenience and just stuff like that I really like okay so the next day is gonna be back so we done our chest we done our shoulders on that first day so we're gonna be that's all push so now we're gonna go into a pull so we can get those pushing muscles all a rest and uh, the reason I like doing back on its own day is because I feel like I can get more out of it and I really want a freaky back and I feel like I can really just tone in and build a great back with all these kinds of movements if I'm focusing only on back so I can throw in six eight different exercises for my back and really grow it to the potential that I really hope I have okay so we done our push pretty much our chest and shoulders we done our pull with our back now we're gonna go and hit our legs on the third day so the third day is gonna be legs and what we're gonna be doing is the first two rotations so the first 10 days is gonna be quad dominant days and then the next 10 days are going to be like the next two leg days that will come up in the rotation will be hamstring dominant days. On both days I'll still be doing hamstrings and quads. I'll just focus more on hamstrings or focus more on quads. And the reason that I won't be rotating back and forth is because uh, there's more to the workout, the workout split and I'll explain at the end what I'll be doing each week because I'll be alternating between weeks of what I do and you just wait and see okay so the granddaddy of them all arms arms and forearms so I like hitting arms on their own day and it just feels good to me to get all that blood all that uh, you know the pump getting the pump in the arms is like no other feeling you can have you just feel really good you feel really good about yourself when you have a big old pump in your arm and I know everybody understands what I mean so I just feel like I can really build my arms if I work them on the same day it just works better for me that's how I've been doing it all this time and you know I don't think they're horribly bad you know but I, I can grow you know I want some 19 18 19 inch arms that's that's my goal I really want that and I also hit forearms on that day because it's just convenient you already got that uh, pump going in your forearms from holding the barbell, doing curls, and doing some extensions for triceps. So might as well just hit the forearms. It just makes sense. You know what I mean? And the final day, which this is what I really need. I need a cardio, I need a calf day, and I need an ab day. So uh, mainly for calves. I'm, you know, team no calves. That's, uh, they're horrible, you know. I could use, they're, they're better. They are really better. I used to look like I was walking on stilts. And that really messes with a person if you know what I mean and I just really think if I focus on calves one day a week really big I will be doing calves on legs leg day and maybe on back day too it's just uh, this day is gonna be prioritized on heavy lifts on heavy uh, heavily focused on calves heavily focused on abs and heavily focused on that cardio so I'll be doing the cardio first I'll either do hit or I'll do, you know, the regular like 30 to 60 minute walking, just, you know, mainly hit, probably do some dead mills, and I'll do a video over dead mills, uh, I got that from Joe Donnelly, so check him out, he's really, he's really smart on what he does. I'll also do abs on certain days, probably just one, two, one, three 
exercises, something like that. Same with calves on that leg day and maybe back day. And like I said, I'm going to be repeating. So that first five days, so it'll be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then you get to Saturday, you'll go back to chest and shoulders and just re keep repeating it like that. I don't need a rest day because I think that, and I, I think and feel that I'm giving each muscle group their optimal rest and I wouldn't need to have a rest day. And like I said, I just get bored and I feel like I'm losing gains even though I'm probably not. And like more, more than likely I'm not. But, but yeah, um, no rest day here. Okay, so getting in what I was saying earlier with the legs. So the first week is gonna be all regular style lifts going for low sets of six to eight maybe and that's gonna be my power days for six to eight my power week you know uh, and then the next week I'm gonna be more doing tempo and I've been really turned on by this for the past maybe six months it's really gotten hype about it you know with the Julian Smith guy and all them and I've been enjoying it and I feel like I've really been gaining muscle faster because the time under tension and all that with the muscle it's just, it's really good so I'm gonna be alternating those days so the reason for the legs I'm gonna be doing quads like each rotation and then like each two rotations I'm gonna do quads each two rotations I'm gonna do hamstring dominant days so hamstring and quad dominant days and that way I can hit the quad with the power week and the uh, tempo week. And same with the hamstrings, I can hit it with the power week and the tempo week. So that way I'm not just going back and forth and not giving the quad the tempo week and not giving the hamstrings the power week. So just like that. That's how I'm going to be doing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and I hope to see you back in the next one. Thank you guys. I love you. Peace out. Bye.